Hello everybody, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing and in today's video we're going to be going over how to create a custom event inside of Google Analytics and how to turn that event into a conversion so that you can see it in your conversion data and measure the things that actually matter to you on your website. Now if you come from Google uh, Universal Analytics, the old analytics, um, this is a little bit of a change. There's, a, there's quite a bit of a change in the, the event ecosystem and so we're going to be going over how to create an event in Google Tag Manager specifically. Um, so we're gonna start this journey off. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're trying to track so that you can kind of follow along as well. So on this website right here, we have a little subscribe um, for emails. And if we uh, fill this out and hit submit, it doesn't take us to a thank you page or anything. It actually just takes us, uh, it doesn't even, the URL doesn't even change. Um, we just get this little thanks for subscribing. We'll be in touch with you shortly. That's why we're gonna be using Google Tag Manager. Um, if you do have a thank you page, you could do this through Google Tag Manager as well, but we're gonna be tracking the actual form submit um, inside of there. So we're gonna go over to Google Tag Manager now and show you how to do this. I'm gonna show you what you need to do first before you create this form submission button. You're gonna to wanna to come in here to variables. And if you haven't used Google Tag Manager a lot or if this is a newer account, you're gonna to wanna to come in here to configure. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that um, all of these form submissions are checked. And most likely you're gonna to wanna to make sure these are click checked as well. You, we won't use these in this demonstration, but if you wanna check clicks, you're gonna to wanna to make sure those are, are uh, checked. And then after those are checked, you're gonna to wanna to go into trigger. And you're gonna to wanna to create a generic form submission trigger. Um, and what that looks like is, I just named it for, uh, generic form submission. And then for this, you just go through and you click form submission right there leave it all forms and uh, this allows you to see the form submission event inside of Google Tag Manager so that you can know which ID to pull to fire your tag, uh, your tag and conversion. So now that we have that set up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into um, preview mode to show you what that does. So I'm gonna hit preview. And we just wanna go to house2home.com. And if you're new to Google uh, to, to Google Tag Manager, or if you've just been in here, you haven't been here for like two weeks, that's a new thing. You put your website in and it actually takes you right here and the events fire inside of Google Tag Manager, which is awesome actually, it's super helpful. So we're gonna fill out this form as if we're somebody, just so we can see what event fires here. We're gonna hit submit. The events are being fired in Tag Manager because I see this little guy right here. All right, so that's good. Now we go back to Google Tag Manager. And this is the reason why we created that uh, variable and we checked those boxes. As you see right here, there's this little form submit. If we didn't do that, form submit would not be firing there and we would not be able to see uh, the, the data or the variables, the variables inside of here. So we're gonna click on this and then we're gonna click on variables. And most of the time, the, the easiest way to get a unique ID for a form is the actual form ID. So as you see, we have the click ID equals WP forms uh, 214. So we're going to take this guy right here. So now that we have this form ID, we're going to go back over here to Google Tag Manager. And uh, we're going to create the actual tag. So we're going to go tags and hit new. I'm going to call this email form submit GA4 Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, and then we are going to name this an event, uh, Google Analytics J4 event. Make sure you have the right configuration for your new Google Analytics, not your old one. And then for this event, I'm gonna call this email submit. And I wanna know that this comes from GTM, so I'm gonna put GTM. And then for the event parameters, because this is an email, uh, I don't care about the value of it. I don't know the value of it. It's very hard to know the value of an email sometimes. So I'm not gonna assign like a currency or a dollar value. If you have an e-commerce transaction and it's consistent every time you could put US currency equals, or currency equals US value equals, you know, $50, whatever that may be, but we're not gonna do it in this case. Make sure that this is firing only once per event. You don't want somebody filling out the form multiple times and that firing uh, for you every single time. So, and next we're gonna do the trigger and this time we're gonna create a new trigger. It's gonna be a form submit trigger, but we're gonna have a specific, uh, we're only gonna have a fire on that WP um, form that we had. So I'm gonna call this email, no form. Okay. Click on here and we want form submission. 
and we want some forms. And then this is where this is important. So uh, as you can see here, there's, there's this form ID. If I go back to here, this is where we got that form ID, right? Form ID equals WP forms um, 214. So we come back here, oops, wrong one. And we want that form ID to contain uh, that guy right there. And then we hit save. And that is looking good, hit save again. And now we're gonna go back into preview mode and make sure that that tag is now firing correctly. So hit preview. Start. We're gonna scroll back down here. We're gonna fill this guy out and we're gonna hit submit. Thank you, we'll be in contact with you shortly. And then we're gonna hit continue right here. And remember, we're gonna to go to our form submit event and we're gonna click on here. And there it is. Our tag is now successfully fired. And the reason why it fired is because it matched all of these uh, criteria, which we defined, which was the form ID equals WP form form 214. Uh, and we are good to go. So now we're going to go back to Google Tag Manager and we are going to submit these changes. I'm going to call this email, PR, email, right, email form. Oh, if I can type submit. And publish that guy so that is now live on our site so now let's and then here we are back in Google Analytics and here's one of the frustrating parts for me and I know that a lot of people have been experiencing this in the old Universal Analytics when you created the tag and the goal you could see it like right away um, right now for whatever reason there's some sort of delay in the event actually showing up in your uh, all events uh, view and so eventually this will show up your 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 event will show up inside of here and then you have to simply mark it as a conversion. Um, you can also mark any of these ones, these uh, predefined events as conversions if you'd like, but I don't recommend uh, doing that because they're not really like super valuable, uh, you know, uh, end goal things you want users to take on your website. I'm going to jump into a different Google Analytics account that I set up with the same process that shows you the event firing in there and then how to simply just turn it into a conversion. So stay tuned. So as I mentioned, these don't show up right away. Um, for this account, I created this um, form submit GTM and I probably had to wait a few hours. Um, I don't know the exact time because I created it, I didn't see it in there and then I went, came back and checked a, a couple hours ago. But this is what it will look like inside of um, the, events, uh, the events view, whatever you want to call this. So we have form submit GTM, it shows the amount of users and then we want to have this fire as a conversion. So uh, once we hit that, it will then show up on our conversion text. But right now, if you look, um, the, the GTM, so I have the form submit, but not the form submit GTM firing in there. But as soon as I go over here to all events and click that guy, now if I look inside of conversions, that form GTM will fire in the conversions and it will go into all of the other reports, all the resume reports on this other side uh, for your, your conversion rates and different things. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful for you. Um, did a lot of uh, work and a lot of different testing to make sure that this was the, the correct way to, to go about it. Um, so don't forget to get, hit a like and a subscribe down below. And all I'm going to keep learning uh, Google Analytics for to help create more tutorials like this. Appreciate the support, guys.